You gotta uh, be on high alert, man. And I was at uh, Home Depot over the weekend on Saturday night, and I was I was in there. There's about about ten of people in there. There wasn't one kid in there, and I didn't see one woman shopping in there. I think they're the guys at Render are, are construction guys that needed something for the next day. And I think a lot of people are staying home until they get these smash and grab guys uh, under control. Um, and it's a shame because, you know, they sell Christmas trees at Lowe's and, and Home Depot. And it should be a time of year where a lot of families out there grabbing a tree and people are staying home. All right, let's uh, get back to uh, Gary here. Uh, uh, Stro is it Stroby? Am I saying that right? It's actually Strobel uh, with an L. Oh, all right. I'm sorry about that, buddy. Hey, um, so you've been, you've been a fan for an awful long time. Uh, you, you, you're, like, considered the biggest Monkees fan ever. Uh, yeah, possibly. I, I mean, sh I'm sure there's a few other people out there, but I, I've had the good luck of getting to know each and every one of the band members, and uh, that was a childhood dream come uh -huh. true. What, what, when, did you, when did you first hear the monkeys? Um, uh, uh, it was the um, uh, 68, 69. No, no, no. It was it was the premiere of the uh, the first episode, September 12, 1966, 66. on NBC. Okay. Yes, yes. And I, no. yes, that's that's uh, my my childhood. And and Last Train of Clarksville was played on that episode, the first episode. And uh, I bought the first album. It was the first album I owned as a kid that I bought on my own with you, my own money. Were you also a Beatles fan? Yes. I saw the Beatles on Ed Sullivan with, with my family. And that and David, David Jones was on that show as the Artful Dodger and Oliver. Wow. That was my nickname in high school, by the way. Oh really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, like I got, a, I I seem to uh, get away with a lot of stuff that my brothers and sisters got caught for. And my my oh. my dad gave me the nickname the Artful Dodger. Oh, okay. Well, I, and I don't remember anybody else on that show except for the Beatles, and that that stayed with me. But the Beatles opened the door for the Monkees to be what they became. I, right. I mean, the Beatles opened the door for all the groups. That after that, the birds and Buffalo Springfield and the hot, you know, just everybody. What are their plans? They, are they, are they going to continue to travel and to tour? Well, Mickey's going to go out on the road and do a, a, a double bill with Felix Cavallari of the Rascals. And it's a wonderful show because the Rascals had so many hits as well. And they actually did this show at the Saban Theater about three years ago. Mm -hmm. And it was a great crowd. And, and I think, uh, you know, Mickey is going to carry on the legacy of the Monkees because he sang I'm a Believer. He sang on Last Train to Clarksville. He sang on I'm Not Your Stepping Stone. So he sang on many of the hits. Right. But the song that, you play, the song that you just played, Daydream Believer, that was David David Jones and um, it's amazing how many hits they had. Where can people see your collection of everything? Well, I don't really have. I'm not on. Uh, I'm not on social media, but there's a book Good that idea. I'm finishing called. It's called The Monkeys: Colon From Real to Real, and it's R double E L, and then it's R E A L, because the show was about a rock and roll band that became a real band. Right. And that, that's the amazing story. Is they, were, they were brought together through ads and, and auditions, and they were looking for actors who had musical ability. So they hired two, uh, two musicians, Michael and Peter. Wow. And David and, David and Mickey were, uh, were the actors who had some musical, obviously, David performed on, on Broadway. How many pieces of memorabilia do you think you own? Oh, I'm, sh uh, I don't know, probably 500 to 750 wow. <laughs> unique items. Um, I have one of the original Monkees drum heads that was used either on the show or on one of the tours. I bet um, that gets the checks on, right? Huh? Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, and, um, uh, anybody want to see uh, one of the original Monkees drum heads? Uh, follow me home. And then the, uh, that's yes. just, uh, you know, a train of gals, right? <laughs> yes, and I had, I had the eight-button shirt that David Jones wore on one of the episodes. Wow. And, uh, so you're knocking it out, dude. <laughs> yes. <laughs>
Well, I, well I, I knew the gentleman that designed all the clothes for the monkeys, and they set, they were setting trends not only with the TV show, oh, yeah. but also... I remember that, man. I, I, I really appreciate you coming on, um, and if you ever put together a website, call us and we'll, uh, you know, uh, we'll promote it for you. But you seem like a very nice guy, and I can hear it in your voice that you really feel the loss of uh, Michael Nesmith. And uh, I'm sorry for your loss, but uh, you, you know, it was a very nice long run you had with these guys. Well, I appreciate the time, and you stay healthy and have a good holiday, and uh, I'll look forward to the next time you we talk. Can, and please come back again. And maybe in person, you can bring some stuff by. We'll uh, we'll uh, show people how great your collection is. Yeah, I'll bring uh, I'll bring some of the uh, archival material that I've accumulated. Oh, cool. All the all right, we'll do that. Uh -huh. so this uh, COVID thing knocks down. We're gonna have uh, a lot more people, and uh, we'll put you on that list. We'd love to have you. I look forward to okay, it. Okay, thank, thank you, sir. sir. All right, there he goes, uh, Gary Strobel. Sorry, I butchered that guy's name. I, I feel uh, horrible, but um, it was uh, my fault. Okay, what can I do? All right. And by the way, kids, uh, if you're in, uh, you know, you're 20 to 30 and you screw up at work, you can say that as well. It's my fault, right?